Hi guys, here we are today with today's daily gem. It's uh, Lisa McCormick. And uh, I met Lisa at the uh, Stick in the Mud. I was uh, asking somebody, uh, they were talking about the play Tommy that's coming up. And uh, Lisa was kind of talking to some other people then she overheard me say, uh, are you interested in Tommy? And she came and uh, said uh, she's looking for some people that would be uh, able to participate in it that were like a, a male and my age and so we sat down and got talking and I got to know Lisa and uh, she's an absolute gem and of course Suki Sukait here in town and uh, you know uh, obviously interested in uh, the music and the arts and I'm gonna introduce Lisa hello hi Gary um, Lisa can you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself um, maybe what you do here in Suk and just kind of in general Sure, okay, well, uh, like you said, I'm, I'm heavy into the arts and theater, and it's true, you know, a lot of women and young women show up to those shows, and uh, we're always looking for those um, male leads, you know, the male leads. Um, so if you know of anybody like yourself, yeah. uh, come on out for Tommy. Um, the person, the, the body that takes care of that is Sue Carver Players. And uh, we've only been using that name for a few years. Prior to that, we were Stage West. And, but, uh, you know, thanks to the internet and that kind of um, um, making your world so available, accessible, we realized, we found out that Edmonton has been using that name for a long time. So we let them have that name because it seemed to suit them better, Stage West, okay. Yeah. And we picked Sue Harbor Players. But we've been in existence for over 33 years, maybe 34, 35. Years. That's a long time. It is. And we've been pumping out some amazing theater, including uh, some some original pieces. And this is one person, a buddy of mine, and maybe I'll nominate him because he's a gem. We'll okay. come, we'll get there. Okay. Uh, two original plays, you know, uh, and that have been put on in our little town. and. Uh, you know, you think when you do something new, it's going to be small, and this was sensational, over the top, and he's done it twice, so now I know who my jam is going to be okay, later wonderful. on. Yeah, so theater, yes. Also, I raise kids, you know. I'm so raised, you're a mom? Yes, I'm a single mom, yep. and my kids are now big. They're, they're in their 11th and 12th year of high school, and so this now has uh, freed me up somewhat to just to be more available and present in the community. And, Right. So what's what's uh, what's going on in Souk uh, that you are um, enjoying to see the shift change? Uh, what are some highlights about Souk that you like? Here? Well, the when you say a shift and a change, because I'm I'm wanting it so so much. I'm thinking politically and globally, and just in, in terms of the most basic things: people connecting with people, uh, just honest exchanges maybe not actually involving money. Right. So I'm very excited by uh, just my own uh, perceptions about what, are, what is coming up, like grass in the community, like uh, soup exchanges. Um, these are online, simple online little uh, groups that pop up, and they're not little anymore. They're really um, taking on huge proportions. And it's so, so immediate. You know, here's a jar of pickles for some uh, kids clothing size three done and it gets done it's kind of exciting really exciting so I, I really like that and anything community gardening related or gardening related where we're taking control of our own food and living closer to home right so that's uh, really happening in Sioux because we're having a, a sharing of uh, food which is like at the market clothing anything that you have people are not attached and getting out and sharing and talking and not having to spend a lot of money in working to uh, uh, cultivate that here in uh, soup which I noticed and everyone's kind of open and everyone yeah, yeah I hope so I hope so it's opening more yeah, yeah yeah so different currencies that's what I like uh, what is your currency I like to say like and some people it's, it's obvious it's honey or it's squashes or something like that and yeah I like it could be your time it could be your time yeah and that's something that we don't with an elder or a child or something like which that. we were talking about earlier yeah. there embrace that a little bit more yeah great okay well thanks for sharing about yourself um, if you had a piece of advice to give uh, maybe a piece of wisdom or something that you've uh, come across the, throughout your experience what would you like to share with everybody? Wow that oh it just that touches a little another little chord with me because I am a collector of um, little dictums little things that you say to, to 
keep yourself centered and organized and, and cheerful. Um, I, I, I quoted something that I've attributed to Chief Dan, Chief Dan George, and gosh, I just like to even say that man's name. Because there's lots of young people alive. Chief Dan George. You know who Chief Dan George was. No. You don't, eh? Oh, God, he was a. You're the great guy. Yeah. You gotta look this guy up. You told me you gotta this look guy this guy up. He was a chief. <laughs> he was a chief, but he had such humor. Such humor. And he actually was an actor. And you must see these movies that he made. It's, there's a Clint Eastwood one. You gotta see that one. And there's the one with uh, Dustin Hoffman. I think a little big man. Oh, okay. And Hoffman is raised as the son of a, a, an Indian chief. Yeah. And it's that man. But Dan George, apart from other things, he really had his, his, his finger on the pulse of the, the big changes that were happening. And, and he saw it coming back then. This is basically the 70s when he was an old man and I was a young woman. Um, he said many things, you know, maybe rub your heart flow, flow freely and so on. These sort of stereotypical um, native dictums that I don't want to mash up. But the last thing he said, most importantly, may you be strong in silence. It's a gooder. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Okay, wonderful. May you be strong in silence. Um, okay, and uh, well, let's uh, get you to now who's that person that you wanted to nominate. Right, okay. This brings us full circle. And I mean, you you asked me about gems in my community. And, and uh, you know, right away, I, I start thinking with my heart. for feeling out there who's really like such a giver in a, in a heart sense. You, if your calling is the theater, you're a giver. If you're willing to take that on and try and organize and create something and then present that to people, you're, you're a giver. And so this is Tom Southwood is my nomination for a, a gem in suit. Who's Tom? Tom Southwood. Uh, he is a contemporary of mine. He's, uh, you know, he, he works uh, nine to five jobs to keep ends together, I'm sure. But he's, he's also a creator, a writer, a thinker, and a deep feeler and a playwright and a director and an actor and a singer okay and a composer great well thanks tom we're going to get a chance to talk to you a little bit later and uh also uh, lisa just for being a gem dave here at the stick in the uh, stick in the mud is going to give you a free casino <laughs> copy that you can pick up with the speed stick so uh thank you lisa you are a gem thanks jarvis so are you kids and thanks dave mind so you never have to be afraid